talk about defect cards. So this is something that a driver has to do every day. First use driver and it gets checked throughout the day by the drivers that are then going out and driving it. So what's it all about? Well, this is a legal binding document. This piece of card dictates that the first driver, which is on there, cover up his driver's number, um, that driver has carried out the first use da daily check on the vehicle. So, for instance, he's got to check everything on this card. So, I'll read out what we've got to check. It's quite a long list. If you give us 15 minutes to do it, we, you can do it in about 10 vehicle so cab warning devices so that's like the buzzers you know that sort of stuff wipers washers and horns it speaks for itself you check the wipers work you check the washer works and you check the horn works demisters heaters and air conditioning now you can't really test this because it takes an hour for the vehicle to warm up but what what the what you just testing first to make sure the blowers actually work mirrors make sure they're present Make sure they're attached to the vehicle, make sure they don't move with the wind. So make sure they're very secure. Parking brake, service brake. Well you'll know the parking brake's working if when you get to it it's not crashed into the vehicle in front. The service brake is the thing you check just before you leave. So as you move off from the bay, you're checking whether the service brake then now works. Interior lights. So that is all the lights on the inside. You check all of them that they're all lit, mark down any that aren't. Vehicles can't enter service under certain conditions with the interior lights, whether it's day or night. So like if your interior lights above your stairs don't work, you can't enter service. If any of your platform lights are out, you can't enter service. Used as a taxi vehicle, you can't enter public service, etc, etc. Directional indicators, again, speaks for itself to make sure all your indicators work. That's on hazards and alone. Fire extinguisher first aid kit, if applicable. So, you want to check, make sure your fire extinguisher is present on the vehicle, make sure it's serviceable. Um, floor tread steps and stairs, make sure there's no trip hazards, basically. So, that's quite a simple one. Just make sure there's nothing to trip over. Just turn the bus back on. Driver's seat and safety belt if the vehicle is fitted with one. As you see, we don't have a safety belt, so you're just making sure the driver's seat is secure. You know, it's not going to fall over or fall off or collapse on you. Passenger seats and safety belts if applicable. Again, we don't have safety belts, uh, so you're just making sure that all the seats are safe, secure, not soiled, not damaged in any way. That will result in damage to the customer's clothing or makes it a danger for any of the passengers. Stanchions and grab rails, so all these basically, make sure these are firmly attached to the vehicle and they're not going to fall off or give way. Passenger communication devices, that's a posh word for the bell. So you make sure that every bell button works on the vehicle. Uh, a bit harder on the MMCs to do because it gives up after a while and you have to wait a bit but you just go around and you press all the bells basically emergency exits and brake glass devices so this is one of the ones for the antisocial behaviour here uh, so you need to make sure that all your smash the glass hammers are present in the vehicle so upstairs and down if they're fitted and that your emergency exits all work so this also then comes under the cab warning devices because when you open the emergency exit you should get a warning in the cab that it's been opened so you make sure it opens fully it's, it's you know it works like a door basically including the upstairs window if applicable uh, accessibility features so that's the kneeling suspension and the ramp you pull the ramp out make sure it works if you're on a London vehicle or a double door vehicle which has an electronic ramp you make sure it works if you're on a coach you make sure the lift works etc etc step or platform lights i've already covered all must be working you cannot enter service with one out operators license and legal lettering let me just check the time the time is fine 
Yep, so operators license and legal, so that is the green plaque there and your legal lettering has to be on the near side and is on this vehicle just down here. Make sure it is correct and all present. So then you've got and the other thing is you're checking windscreen and windows, you're checking for chips and cracks and you know make sure your windows are there basically. So we'll come back to that shortly. So time has passed, it's now not so sunny outside, which is not a shame. It's now a bit cooler. So we was up to the defect cards. Last column on the front. Different defect card, it's different bolts. So the other thing we need to check is the exterior lights including reflectors and number plates. So for that is obviously check they all work. Some of these newer vehicles have a check feature on it where you press it and it does it cycles through all the lights on the vehicle. These the older ones is not that don't have it, you just put everything on. Hazard lights, in reverse you can see normally the reflection of the vehicle behind you, fog light, everything like that, you put them all on. Then walk on the vehicle, make sure they're all working. Road wheels, wheel nuts, and tyres speaks for itself, doesn't it? So you're checking all the tyres. There's nothing stuck between the tyres. They're inflated. You know they've got tread on. All all that sort of stuff is what you're checking there. Make sure there's no rust bleed of the nuts, etc., etc. Body panels again speaks for itself, making sure there's no sharp edges. Marking down on the front of the card any damage on the diagram that w is with the vehicle uh, when you got to it, then you can't be blamed for it. Fuel filler cap obviously, make sure the filler caps are securely fastened so you're not going to drive down the road and have fuel coming out of it. Oil, water, fuel, and toilet waste leaks. Again, speaks for itself, we don't have toilet waste. Um, but you just check on the floor, make sure there's no puddles that you suspect have come from your vehicle. Emergency exits exterior, again just making sure the rear emergency door uh, can be open from the outside as well as in. You obviously can't do the upstairs window, but you, when you open it from the inside, you're able to see the red handle on the outside twist. If it doesn't twist, then uh, start questioning whether it's working. Uh, where are we up to? Bonnets, flaps and doors, again, speaks for itself, you making sure your bonnet's securely fastened down, it's not going to fly up, making sure your sides, side uh, panels are locked, are not going to fly up, fly open, I've had that, it was secure, it was locked, but it managed to come open anyway, that was an interesting pullover, uh, exhaust smoke, you can obviously check this when you start the vehicle up, make sure there's not an unusual amount of exhaust smoke coming out the back of the vehicle. Uh, if you press your accelerator, you can, you can roughly see what's going to be coming out. But also, when you leave the depot, it's a good idea to check this as well, just to make sure that when the bus is actually under strain or power, that it's not actually churning out big black clouds. We expect a bit, but not too much. Uh, all the destination displays more than a single decker at the moment because all their displays have to work supposedly on deckers it's not coming yet but you should you need to check your front your sides and your rear are working and contactless etm just your ticket machine make sure it's not been tampered with that works make sure it's not been tampered with anything like that you also checking um missed it out i can't remember which one it's under but you're checking for i think it's in Check your what's it's working as well, your power steering, everything like that. So that is what the first use driver has to go through when setting the bus up for the first time. This is whether it's in the afternoon, night, if there's no card on it, you're the first use driver, so you have to do the full check. So if you're then the second driver, you don't have to do all that. But it's 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 a good idea to walk around the vehicle. Put that in there. Walk around the vehicle, and if you're taking off in the depot, you can walk around the vehicle at your leisure. You can make sure you know all your wheels are still inflated, all the li all the little things that make it roadworthy. Make sure there's no further body damage. 
because if there is, you could put it on the card then before you go out that this body damage was there beforehand. But if you're taking off on the road, obviously that's not practical, so you can check it at your next terminus uh, if you so wish. However, you can get, if you can ask the driver you're taking it off at that point, is there any issues with it? Which then the driver can go, yes, this warning light keeps coming on or whatever, this warning light's on, but the depot are aware of it. So that's what every bus driver has to do. So there's never ever a bus out on the road that isn't legal. Because if it is, we get beheaded. It's not nice, especially if Volsa finds us, because they don't find the company, they find us as the driver, because we're the one operating the vehicle. They also find the company. So, they do make quite a bit of money out of it, but luckily it's not very often. Because we are checked up on checking the che checks. So, it ensures that buses are going out on the road that are fit for service. Obviously, you may see a taxi vehicle like at Ashton, where there might be something wrong with it, but that means, it, as I said before, it might not be fit for public service, but it's fit for private. So I'll be in a taxi vehicle. Yeah, I hope you found that interesting. If you've got any questions about condition cards or the daily vehicle checks, just ask down below and I'll answer the best I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Feeling on the bus. <laughs> it's made my day, that is. <laughs> oh, God.